pause. Uh, sorry for the little pause, but I'm just so excited about our guest we have joining us. It is a husband and wife team, and they have a outstanding uh, business. Uh, it's called I See Me, and they specialize in educational and historical, uh, promotional uh, images, positive images of African Americans in. Uh, history and biblical and we are so happy to have joining us uh this afternoon jeffrey and pamela blair and uh, we say good afternoon to you how you all doing good afternoon we're good, good. good afternoon. thanks Thank for, having for having us on. on it is truly a pleasure to have you on and, and to talk about i see me and uh it is just a tremendous uh, bookstore and and just uh, product promotional store that you have because uh, you have done an outstanding job of just really uh letting African American communities see themselves in history, in the Bible, and, and just in every aspect you think of. So tell us about I See Me. Well, uh, again, thank you for having us. Um, again, I See Me is an African American children's bookstore who focuses to um, really promote positive African American images. So you, you want to be a resource, fill a gap that's fill a gap that's out there today in um, in having positive African American images. Um, so we want to help parents uh, to improve increased number of books they have in their homes. We want to help schools and help diversify their libraries and their curriculums. Mm -hmm. And we want to help just really give you know um, some more information to help our communities so that we don't lose the history that we have, the contributions that we've made, um, the various you know aspects and heroes that have come through the past that a lot of times gets lost because we don't promote it and we don't keep it. And so the idea behind um, you know putting together the bookstore sort of you know it's one of those things where say inspiration out of desperation okay and so in raising our own uh, children you know we we try to answer their questions you know a lot of times we'd go we'd be talking about various aspects of history and they would ask well where were we when this was happening what mm -hmm. were we and uh so we would do our own research it caused us to do some research and uh you know we were able to find some information but it wasn't in a child-friendly way okay and so we started to uh, create some of our own products some uh, games and books in order to help demonstrate that and you know how children are, right? It's a matter of we can talk and lecture all we want, but really a picture is a thousand words. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, having the images, seeing images look like them when we're talking about the Bible or when we're talking about history and contribution to history, it really had a significant impact in, in them being able to accept the information and also, you know, being excited about the information. Um, and so that sort of started with, with our own children. And then out of that, you know, our children started to really, you know, do very well, outstanding in school and a lot of the various, you know, anything that they really attempted at. There was this um, foundation that they had of this pride of them, in themselves. And so um, some of our friends and neighbors started to see that and teachers. And so we started to create other products for them. And then eventually it grew into, you know, the fact that not only our products, but we also wanted to sort of galvanize and, and put together, you know, a, a numerous products that are out there that would help serve that function of empowering our children, mm -hmm. of being able to let them see, and, you know, the children learn by playing and interacting. So, you know, children's books and games and posters and dolls that celebrate them and their culture. And, and, and when you talk about it, too, as we're visiting here with the Blairs, uh, uh, tell us about it, Paul. Uh, it, why it is so important that the kids do see themselves in, in books and games? It is so important so that they can build self-pride, self-esteem, the love of self. Um, not always looking to out, you know, for things outside of their own community, but look at you know what's going on in their community. Um, it's important that our children see themselves even in the, you know in our scriptures. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when um, you know when we read the scripture to them and, and show them characters of the scripture, they don't see themselves, and as they get older. Older, they tend not to want that. They tend to, you know, especially boys, they tend not to gravitate towards the Bible. So we basically show them that they are Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and we sort of like, you know, have them embody that Samson, that that you know, that young Samson, mm -hmm. or that um, or that Miriam. So to you know, to, to let them understand that they are from not from you know just from slavery, because a lot of times you know when they are learning about their history, the first thing that they learn about their history 
is about slavery, and this and this happens in the classroom. So that sometimes it it, it brings about a shame. So now we have to build their you know build self pride that that's not where we're from. We're from you know we're from greatness. We're you know we're from kings and queens, and you know we're from great people. You know so we're constantly trying to teach them um, even in literacy, um, even in books about you know that they will you know you know read as as young children. They need to see characters that look like them. They need to see doctors and lawyers and you know politicians and engineers that look like them so that they can aspire to be all these things. Um, and a lot of times the, um, the media um, do not show um, you know all the various uh, uh, professional that you know we're a part of and inventions that we did. So um, we're trying to bring all that under I See Me Store to teach our young people that they are from greatness. Right. Absolutely. And Pamela, you were just talking about it. I, uh, you have, uh, you and Jeffrey have a number of uh, images here. Uh, tell us about some of those images that you have over there, Jeff. They're, right. they're, those are, so illustrations are outstanding. Sure, sure. Yeah, we wanted to show you, again, some of the products that we have there. Again, we have books, we have games, we also have posters. And so we have, for example, one that I, I, I have here in the studio is a poster of George Crumb, right? And a, lot, and a lot of people don't know that potato chips was invented by an African-American man. Wow. And his name is George Crumb. And George so Crumb. Uh, right, mm -hmm. so we have a poster showing that. Um, we have um, also, you know, as Pamela was saying, you know, a lot of times um, in our in the schools, a lot of times they don't, you know, I, I mentioned this before we started to record, right, that mm -hmm. they visualize this, right, that an African-American child can go through tw 12 years of school, right, all the way from kindergarten to 12th grade, that's 13 years, right, mm -hmm. um, and never, ever see a positive African-American image in his studies, in his curriculum mm -hmm. at all. And okay, maybe, but that's right. about it. That's about and, it. Uh, and so that 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 puts uh, that suggests that narrative suggests to an African American child that maybe we didn't do too much. Sure. Maybe you know we just kind of were here, just on the sidelines, right. and not really contributors. Who's there to tell them anything different? And so even when we would petition, let's say, for the schools to include more African American contributions, as Pamela said, it would start usually start with uh, slavery. Mm -hmm. And still, that's not really what we're talking about, right? And we have a saying that you know your history didn't start with slavery. Your history starts with, in the beginning, mm -hmm. God created the heavens and the earth. Okay. And that's the narrative we have to have our children understand. All our right. history starts from that point forward till now. I and then we get to understand and see how things happen in context, to understand how things are the way that they are today. And so for that continuum we wanted to show, we have posters not only of African American history, but also going back to the scriptures. And so by having these you know, images looking like them all the way through, mm -hmm. from the scriptures to now, they can see the continuum of us as a people. And so we have a picture here of Moses with the baby, um, I'm sorry, of Miriam, mm -hmm. with the baby Moses, you know, when, when she was put into the river. And and again, I guess if, you know, your, your, your listeners can go to the website and see some of these as well uh, at icme.com or come to the store. Uh, we also have one here of Joseph, you know, with the coat of many colors and right. so forth. And so these are some examples just to sort of show that we have both biblical as well as, um, you know, African-American history um, spanning that whole continuum of African-American uh, images. Right. Look, have us look in a positive light. That's outstanding. We're visiting here with Pamela and Jeffrey Blair, and uh, they are the owners of I See Me, uh, their bookstore, and it, of course you can get to them too at icme.com. Uh, Pamela, tell us about it. Um, how have you been received? I know you are both not from the St. Louis area. Uh, you're actually from the East Coast. Yes. Uh, how has it been received when we talk about the school districts and, and, and overall your, your clients that come into the bookstore? Um, it's been very well received. Um, I, again, uh, when people come into the bookstore, they're sort of, they don't know what to think of it because there's, they've never seen something like this before, um, both biblical and African-American history. So it takes them a while to get used to it, but they love it. Um, and going into the schools, the schools um, have been very welcoming. We're trying to go into the Kirkwood schools right now, and the Kirkwood school um, district has been very welcoming um, to our products. So we just, you know, really thank the Kirkwood school district, and we're trying to get into the um, the U City school district. But when people walk into the store, I think they're a bit overwhelmed because mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's so many. There's posters, there are games, there are, there are books, and we carry books from basically um, um, infant to all the way to high school books. And you can learn about the Seminole Indians and 
how we were a part of them and how, you know, as slaves, as we ran away, we, you know, we went towards them and, you know, all the great things that we've done. Um, you know, John Horse, you know, you know, who was a, um, a black Seminole and what he did and, you know, and his great victories that he had. We have books on, um, you know, on um, the story of Jacob, mm -hmm. you know, so we, we, we carry an array of books. We have posters. We have this game and it's one of my favorite games here ah. and it's a game, it's called the Lost Sheep series and it's our inventors um, edition and where you, you match the inventor with the invention and children can learn about who invented what in about under an hour and they love it and it's a family friendly game and we try to make everything you know you know very much family it's it is it is up to us not up to schools but it's sure. up to us to teach our children who they are and give them that self pride and give them you know that self confidence back we need to sit down and play games with our children read books to our children from the time that they are born we need to start feeding them this knowledge of who they are and showing them pictures and showing them that their hair, you know, girls' hair, it's beautiful and it's curly and it's wonderful. It's, it's it, you know, God has touched our hair and it's, mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. And sure. we have to teach our boys that they are, you know, Superman. Like, they're heroes and, you know, and they have, you know, it's limitless, mm -hmm. right? So we have to give our children back that, their, you know, their identity in, in, in who they are. Right. Yeah. Boy, that's, right. that's awesome. I'm, I'm looking at the book now you have here, The Story of Jacob, uh, written by you, Pamela, Pamela Blair, and illustrated by uh, Stefan uh, Handy, mm -hmm. and and we see Jacob, and we see him, uh, you know, as as an African American, a, a man of color here, and of course. Um, you know, it is just something to see, and how special and unique this is. And, and as you said, you, you use the term "overwhelmed," and I can imagine because uh, I think your, your your title of the business says it best. Wow, I actually see me yes. in the story. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. And, and we're, I mean, you know, it's not just theory. We we've, we've been doing this for a little bit now, and you know, and and we see the results. You should, as much as adults come in and see, wow, this is something great imagine the mind of a child you know books are both a mirror and also a window you know, to the world mm -hmm. and um, and so books that you know we take a picture right okay a group picture mm -hmm. the first thing you look at look look for is you in that picture sure and so Absolutely. what happens after a number of years and never seeing you in a picture mm -hmm. what well, do you start mm -hmm. thinking about yourself mm -hmm. you, you know? probably decide you don't want to look at the picture yeah. 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 it's like yeah. it's, it's maybe a like pretty picture but it has nothing to do with me right? yeah, it's not me you know? And uh, and so that's why it's so important. Children gravitate to this. There's some you've done different trade shows and various things, and you'll see the African American children flock to our table because they see something that looks like them. Mm -hmm. You know, something empowering and positive. You know, and 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 um, and we actually have seen some very positive, significantly positive results from children being exposed and playing and interacting. Again, it's not just a dry history lecture. Mm -hmm. It's it's in a child-friendly matter. You know, Absolutely. it's games. It's it's children books with great illustrations. It's, you know, so all those various things are just so important so that children get self-esteem. But that's the first step. The other piece to that is also, again, as, as Pamela said, is literacy. Working with the schools, what we're finding is that there's a grave achievement gap between African-American children and other children. And a part of that, the foundation of that is literacy. Our mm -hmm. children need to read more and have a larger vocabulary and have a, a love of books. And so a, a lot of what we're trying to do is increase the number of books that even our families have in their homes. And one of the best ways to do that is increase them with books that children are excited about. Right. And absolutely. children are going to be excited about books that are about them that look like them. Mm -hmm. And so we need to do that. That's a big initiative that we're really pushing. You know, one of this couple of statistics to show out there is that the number of books you have in the home is a bigger predictor of academic success than socioeconomics. Hmm number of books wow, number you, have books you have, have in the home. home. And so, you know, listeners could, you know, could just think about that for a second. You know, it's so important, you know. Uh, um, um, some statistics that show if children are not reading on grade level by third and fourth grade, three-fourths of them will probably end up in jail or hmm. welfare. Mm -hmm. My goodness. My right? goodness. Reading so is the foundation for so many things. And so, um, you know, this is, this is, we think, is very critical, you know, to us as a community to make sure we do everything that we can to encourage increase illiteracy. So that's a big, big part of this push as well. Uh, no question about it. Visiting here with Jeffrey and Pamela Blair from I See Me. It's a, it's a great way to uh, 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 just really uh, showcase uh, 
uh, the contributions of, of African Americans in books and toys and dolls and games and, and certainly uh, part of the, uh, the biblical story. And Pamela, I think you said it so well when you said, uh, you know, we can't really rely on the schools. Uh, this is something that, that, as you said, has to be begin at home. It has us. to start at home. It really does. It has to start with our community. It starts when you became a mother or a dad. That's where it starts. That's where that given of that child and you know and and you know a lot of times as we teach our children we we're, we're kind of learning ourselves right as we read to them as we as we um even discover you know things in our history and we're giving it to them we're actually learning and growing so it's a it's it's a it's a family that is moving forward in in, in building self-pride right and then that family can extend out to the community so even if you know a few families start this process you can extend it out to the community, nieces and nephews and grandparents and, you know, so it can, this, I, you know, we're hoping that this becomes, um, you know, something that is going to just grow to, to, you know, like such a magnificent, you know, um, you know, in numbers that uh, we're hoping, I, you know, I see me will be part of the St. Louis community and, you know, our families will want to read and learn about their history, okay. but it does, it does start at home, to, right. you know, from the time that you are a mother or a father, your job is to read and teach your children. You are your child's first teacher. We cannot rely on schools to teach about us. Absolutely. And, and, and Jeffrey, what about, we ask about schools, uh, how have you been received here in the, in the faith, uh, uh, faith uh, community? How have you been received there in the churches? How oh, you very, very well, very well. Um, you know, again, I think a lot of individuals, it could be pastors, teachers, or parents, who may see, and as we have conversations, or may know, or have a sense that, you know what, this is needed, but number one, not sure where to go to get the information to get this type of material, so that's why you want to have it all on one roof. But the second thing is, not sure how to put it together, not sure how to teach it or how to present it to their children. Mm -hmm. And so that's why not only do we present the products, we also, we also help consult as well. So with churches and schools and with parents as well, this is how we do it. So we, we also do programs as well where we kind of help with those items as well so we can see here are the products and how's the best way to use it as well. You know what I mean? So it's not intimidating to the sure. people who are trying to do that. And, and Pamela, I'm sure that, of course, uh, we, we always see uh, just some wonderful uh, products and, uh, for our community when it is Black History Month. However, we're about to begin a new year, and I'm sure you and Jeffrey would say this is something that doesn't should only happen in February, but it should happen uh, all year round. It should happen every day. Mm -hmm. This should be something that we're feeding to our children every day, and that's the thing. Our children are so used to it being that one time a month that if we don't instill in them something that they need to move forward they need to grow they're you know they're going to continue this with their own children so um, our history is way too extensive to be you know put in a month there's so much to learn about us and, and I'm still learning about me Absolutely. so there's so much to learn so we cannot wait till you know February to really uh, tackle our history we need to do that every day Okay. Every single day. Absolutely. Outstanding. And Make you are a family tradition, right? Make it a family tradition. Make it a family tradition. You, you know, a few moments uh, throughout the week, you know, turn off the television and sit down and have reading time with your children. <laughs> and there is still time for, for the holidays. We still have two days. Uh, you, you are open. Tell us about the store where you're locating your hours and how someone can um, get in contact with you. Sure. We're at 7827 Olive Boulevard in University City. And we are open um, Tuesday to Saturdays from 11 to 6 um, and Saturdays from 10 to 2. So again, our phone number is 314-349-1122 349-1122 or visit us at icme.com. It's E-Y-E-S-E-E-M-E dot -E -E com. Again, it's 7827 Olive Boulevard in University City and the cross street is uh, Eastover. So right. please come by. Absolutely. And, and, and there is still time uh, tomorrow to get there. Yes, we are there tomorrow until 6. Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. And also don't forget to tell them about the discount if um, they come. And yes, you if, you, if, you, if you mention um, um, 99.5 Praise, you get a 10% discount. All right. You're that Praise Nation. So <laughs> mention us, Praise 99.5, and get a 10% discount there. That, that This is uh, outstanding. And uh, I know we will check back and, and, and see. And, and I would imagine, though, 
that certainly, though, as you do approach uh, February, and it is uh, important to do this all every day, all year long. I would imagine that uh, you you do do a number of engagements and and come come to uh, churches, schools during this time. As well. But you don't have to wait to February. You, you do this all we year. We do round. it all That's year right. round. Right. We That's do right. it all we year have, round. We have classes there at the store. Class. We have there classes on Saturday. And we also go out to the community as well and we go to various schools and organizations in order to help you know sort of spread the word the importance again of our positive African American images, academic achievement, and literacy. That's outstanding. And, and I also I overheard you before, before we came on there. You were talking about the fact that you are also uh, seeking authors, uh, uh, authors, yep. aspiring authors, or authors that have uh, created and produced and completed projects. To also, uh, the possibilities that that they could possibly get their products into the store. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. If you're a local author, please give us a call at three three one four three four nine one one two two, and we can you know have you do a book sign in. Right. Definitely. Absolutely. And or carry your books. That's right. So that's, you know, with Pamela being an author, she knows what it's like. <laughs> <As she's laughs> right. Right. That's right. So we understand it's uh, it's about a community. You know, it's about making those connections and helping one another so that we can all be successful. So well, I tell you what, I, I mean, I highly recommend everybody in Praise Nation to visit uh, the store, visit the website because uh, these are just some fabulous uh, uh, books and illustrations you have. It's so colorful and again, they you will see yourself in here. Uh, it truly is the correct name, I See Me. Definitely. So, uh, you know, it is outstanding. I want to thank you both so much for coming by today. Thank you for having us. And uh, it's truly a pleasure. Look forward to you coming back and, and checking back Anytime. in again with uh, I See Me and, and again uh, uh, seeing all the great work that you are doing there. So again, it is I See Me. That's E-Y-E-S-E-E-M-E dot com. ICME.com, and you can, uh, uh, they have it all from African American children's books to high end educational toys, African American dolls, family fun games, academic enrichment tools, religious books and games, history and culture, uh, homeschool resources. You also have that in educational Absolutely. consulting. Yeah, Definitely. You do it all. That's yes. it. All right. Well, thank you so much. 7827 Olive Boulevard in New City is the address. And again, the phone number again, Pamela, is 314. 314- Three four nine one one two two. Three four nine one one two two. All right. Thank you so much, Pamela and Jeffrey Blair. Continue success to you. Thank you. And thank a Merry you. Christmas to you. Appreciate you both for stopping by today. All right. Take okay, care. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. We'll be back with more on Praise ninety nine point five. Your voice. Your victory. I see me. 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 Help one to them see themselves in history. I see you, but I don't see me That's what we do, help children see And we give them self-esteem About themselves in history I see me is all about fun and games From modern days to King James's Educational in many ways That remember other people back in the days Such as Daryl in the lion's den Or Moses finding the Ten Commandments